Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to, well actually I don't know what it is, it's just a basic update uh, vlog, sort of letting everybody know that even though the channel's been sort of slowed down for the last four days, uh, everything's good, I'm pretty much good, and I wanted to show you guys uh, what's coming up for this month of uh, October, or at least slightly after October I think, it would be uh, October, November, December, so November. Um, the last two weeks of October are going to be the spooky games or scary games, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, we're gonna—I'm gonna start out with war. I've been looking for basically uh, more like mecha type games, uh, mecha robots, games to do with technology, really cool action pack stuff like that. I stumbled upon a few good things, and I've put them at the top of my wish list uh, that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get uh, for the channel. Uh, the one I like the most is at the top here called War Tech Fighters. And then we've got Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, Tyler Model 5, Archang or Garrison Archangel, that one looks like a good arena style combat game. And I'm thinking about uh, Assault Gunners HD Edition. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is up there because it was new. And uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle I I'm, I'm going to get and Descenders. Uh, probably. Oh, and Break Arts too. Break Arts reminds me a lot of. Did anybody ever see that show where they used to like pilot these really fast like sports machines? It was like, um, gosh, it came on Toonami, man. It came on Toonami. There was like these really super fast mechs. But um, yeah, somebody will probably point that out in the comments. Um, gosh, I wish I knew the name of it, but I'll figure it out later. Uh, then there's 8-Bit Invaders and Phoning Home. And I think those are all the, like, Phoning Home I got because it reminds me of Wally. Doesn't he just look like Wally? He's, he's so adorable. But, like, those are games I'm going to try to get for the channel for this upcoming year. Um, that should do us well because we've got to replace things like um, Procedure, which unfortunately I can no longer play because computers nowadays won't run it. Uh, Fate is phased out. Skyrim VR. Uh, phased out, Pokemon Insurgents phased out, and I've been looking through my library and I, I just noticed that most of my series, aside from Vroom Kaboom and Naruto Battle Climax, have pretty much just dropped. They're just, they're too old or they're not good or people just don't have interest, so I'm bringing new content to the channel, I'm gonna refresh things up real good, and uh, what was the last one? Oh yes, I wanted to show you the spooky game section. Um, and maybe, maybe some clips from these. Can I see a clip from this one, since it's coming up first? Yeah, let's watch a clip. Oh. Do I have good internet? Yeah, the war began. War, what was that? Unless war were declared. What was that? War were declared. Oh, come on, move. The war began. This one's exciting. Oh, please don't lag. The lesser colonies fell first, one by one. The others developed new machines designed to fight in space. I can't wait to play this. Vortex. Woo! Dang, look at that thing go. Vortex. Oh my god. And it's got positive reviews, so I think it's actually, you know, it's it's doing what it says it's going to do. Oh, God, they've got ships on there, and you can transform. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Oh, I might have to mute it or lower the volume so I don't get in trouble for the music. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder how many mechs they have on there. Like, what are your options? Good God. What are your options for, like, um, customization? It looks really cool. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to get for the this month. Probably either tomorrow or the next day. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, man. It reminds me a lot of uh, Gundam Seed. Uh, I played that game on the old PS2 long ago, way back in the day. Oh man, it's so cool. 
Actually, yeah, I think I played Gundam Seed 2. Like, there was a sequel to it. I'm sure of it. Kamehameha? I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So that's uh, what's coming up for, um, I think, next month. Um, or at least sometime. And look, it's not even late. It's not even old yet. <laughs> I'm probably I'm probably one of the hundreds of people to play it. I don't know, but uh, I hope that one's good. I hope I hope you guys like that one. Uh, of course, Naruto uh, Battle Climax is definitely going to be sticking around as a main part of the channel because that one I know I can finish. It gets good results. Um, Tyler, I want I want you guys to see this adorable little guy, and then we'll stop. I promise. Last one. So, uh, across my heart. Tyler's adorable. I just, I want that to be my thing, you know, like, to be known for, like, completing the storyline on this if I can, because he looks so much like what I would envision as my channel, um, persona. You know? Everybody's got some sort of persona for their channel, you know? Or most of the good ones do. And he's so adorable. He's such a cute little machine. <laughs> I used to have rumble robots back in the day that remind me a lot of him. The little toys I told you about in one of my earlier updates. It looks like you can even... Like, oh, is it multiplayer? I could get a friend to play. <clears throat> I can't wait to do, uh, play it. Oh, dude, look at it! Looks beautiful, and it looks like he can level up and equip armor. I'm not sure if the armor or weapons have any effect on him, or if they're just cosmetic. But gosh, it looks so beautiful. Oh my God, is he fighting a Roomba? He's fighting a Roomba! <laughs> I forgot that part. Oh, you can upgrade him. Nice. Heck, this is better than my monthly channel updates. <laughs> oh, he's Indiana Robo. And he's got all kinds of little costumes. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. And um, that's the last of that one. I, I, I really love that. I want to I wanna play that one. And... Uh, also, I'm thinking about trying to continue on Moss. I'm not sure if uh, if anybody's interested, because, like, the last one didn't get any views at all. The first one got, like, a good response, and the last one really didn't. But uh, maybe it wasn't, like, one of my best. That could have been on me. So uh, I might try again with Tyler, um, or not Tyler, Moss, because uh, I, I feel like that one's still got good potential, as well as some of the other ones as well. So uh, that's what we can look forward to this month. Uh, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I love Tyler and War Tech Fighters. Sounds really, really great. Um, I'm missing one of the ones in there. It was supposed to be like a one-on-one -on -one robot fighting game. I could have sworn it was in there. Oh, the Surge is going to be fun. Surge, uh, let me know if you guys would like me to see me play that because unfortunately I sucked on Dark Souls, but this is like the mecha version of Dark Souls. Uh, but I promised I wouldn't show any more. Cause that I don't know when I'm gonna get that. That would just be, that would just be like, not not cool to be like, oh, here's this thing that I'm going to show you right now that I have no idea when it's going to come to the channel. Cause Tyler and um, War Tech Fighters I know are coming to the channel soon. I've already got the money saved up for them. Uh, I would have gotten them already, but I spent a lot of money um, on the spooky games for this month. And I want that one for this Halloween. Look at Raise the Dead. It's so cool, but it's to be announced. It's um, it's like a zombie survival party game where it's just a bunch of zombies that pop up and you and your friends fight against them. Ooh, Fortress Craft Evolved. That's a good tower defense, isn't it? Oh, no, I remember that one. That was like the Minecraft uh, sort of thing. Ground control, a, a pop. Um, just so you, like I keep all of my games that I want to look at later in my wish list. So that's that's how I remember them. Oh, crawl! I remember when that was to be announced. So it's uh, finally out now. Oh, that's so cool. Spell Force Three. Uh, Spell Force One did really bad uh, as far as like the response on the channel. Uh, Spell Force Three has mixed reviews, so I'm not sure about it. Uh, Steam World Heist, Worms, Besiege. If I could find that one, where was it? 
Oh, Elite Danger. Oh, it's mixed though. Golf Robot. I, I don't know if anybody ever does this. I don't know if this is appropriate for YouTube. I'm very sorry. In order to make good videos, you have to make bad videos. It's a thing. You gotta do it. It's, it's, you gotta do it. Monster Mon Piece. Oh man, it's so cool. But at least, you know, let's, let's, Rogue Singularity. That looks really interesting. No user reviews. I could be the first. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Vampire. I know Vampire did good for a lot of people. Attack on Titan, Ghost, Storm of Spears, Empire's Undergrowth. I want to play that one just because I like, like ants. I like ants. North Guard versus it gets you you know it gives people uh, and I thought about getting Planet Coaster just to make another uh, roller coaster tycoon theme Halloween park but I wasn't sure of it and if I can get my buddies together we can play Ben and Ed uh, it is like a uh, zombie Mario Party I, I'm not sure how to describe it it, it this gives you a, a sort of a, an, a look into my tastes what I like which is pretty much everything <laughs> Oh god, I'm a mess. I like everything. Oh, Clash of Robots, that's the one. Let's um put it at the top and then I'll lower it down a few. And you didn't see the one that was below that. You didn't see that. That's not a thing. That's not a thing that you saw. It's not released yet anyway, and I don't think it ever will be, so don't don't count on it. Um Wartech Fighter, Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, so just like order of importance, Wartech Fighter and then Tyler. Clash of Robots is kind of fun, but I think uh, from what I saw of the videos, it looks like they could stand to improve it um, because if it's it's a 2D fighter with 3D models and they go back and forth like that, but they need to add more uh, linear movement. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the proper term for it, but um, I think they're trying to go for like a, uh, a uh, oh, I got to remember the name of it, not Soul Calibur, but Mortal Kombat feel. But the the robots are very fixed. They're like stuck here and stuck here. They don't they don't move back and forth. It, it's like it, it's two rock paper scissors. Uh, oh, I promise that would be the last one. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do more previews uh, next time. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to like a big event today. It's the um, oh come on, um, I got do I really gotta grab my phone for it? Um, is it Pirates of the High Seas? I think it's Pirates of the High Seas uh, on in Panama City. Uh, it was Panama City Beach uh, at Pier Park, but now it's been changed somewhere around like Captain Anderson's or something. I'm going to have to look it up. I've got it saved on my GPS, uh, and I'll just GPS there. It's going to be fun. We're all going to be dressed as pirates. I'm going to be in my full amp guard gear. I'll try to get videos if I can live stream it or take pictures or video or whatever I can do. Uh, just to show you guys like that that's gonna be fun um, I hope I see some of my buddies there a few of them were interested in it because uh, I posted it on Facebook and shared it and they were like interested thumbs up so that's all for next month and uh, October in this oh, October in this month entire October games so gotta go back up to spooky games here's all the spooky games I saved um, in Steam you can separate your games into categories I have Seven Days to Die, Aliens vs. Predators 20, 2000, obviously I'm not going to be playing, well Dracula is not going to be playing all of these for Halloween, but he'll play some of them, Aliens vs. Predator, Dead Frontier 2, Dead of Night, I, I think uh, he's definitely going to play that one because it's based on a Dracula, uh, Dr. Frank's Build a Boyfriend, that one I don't believe is appropriate, <laughs> you would think it would be, but it's not. <laughs> There's there's already videos of it on YouTube. I've seen people that have done it, but it's not. Uh, Ghoul Boy, that one's kind of fun. Arcade classic. Uh, Grave Chase, um, arcade style, new age uh, making. Like they made it old age in our current age. So it's just uh, styled old age. Uh, Halloween Forever, uh, styled old age. Uh, Hateful Dead, that one's, that one's got potential. It's... Uh, but um, I haven't played it yet, so I'll have to I'll have to check to make sure. But the previews look good. the The movie was good. Uh, I don't know what variety they're gonna have. It could be compet. It could be repetitive. I got kind of a repetitive feel from it. Haunted Halloween '86, Curse of Possum Hollow. I got that one. It is very, very difficult. I've played the demo. It is. It's like it's very challenging. Uh, Hellbound. I don't know about that one. It's kind of like a. 
I'm hoping it's kind of like Doom. Monster Prom. A lot of people have already done that. That one's been played to death. Moonlight Mayhem. That one might be as a joke game as Halloween Bad Games because it is bad. I tried to get a refund. It was bad. Um, what it, what they had of it, it was an interesting concept, but it's just not finished. There's no polish. Uh, no More Room in Hell. I don't know what that one's going to be like. I'm very interested in that. Uh, Seek or Die. Can't remember it. I think that's like a story-driven one. Uh, SpookyGhosts.com. That one seems very, very sweet. It's got kind of like a story, I believe, about that. Uh, female protagonist. Sort of uh, like a... I think it's a platformer. Uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. That one's been done to death, but I don't know. I might. I might. Trick and Treat. That one's kind of uh, an RPG Maker style game with a Halloween theme. Zombie Car Massacre. Um, think. Oh gosh, what was that? It's on my. It's on my. It's on my wish list. Um, not wrecked. That pile up game. Um, the car wreck fest. Wreck fest. Uh, think wreck fest without the polish and a Halloween theme. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are all the Halloween theme games uh, for spooky games that I got uh, for this month. Um, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna try to play those during the last 14 days of Halloween or October, which would be. Hang on, let me click on my calendar here. Counting back from the 31st. Uh, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I think I need to start on the 18th on that. So we've got a bit of a ways. I could get War Tech Fighters and start now. Okay, well, that's all good. Um, hopefully, I can get you guys some videos and pictures of the Pirates of the High Seas event. And I hope you, uh, I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you did, let me know. If you have any uh, suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. I'm always open to ideas. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.